Watching the metamorphosis of a caterpillar to a monarch butterfly is quite spectacular. Why is this happening out of season? Let me try and explain to you what's going on. There's a parasite called OE. This parasite traps the butterfly inside of its chrysalis, making it a very sticky inside. And it makes it really hard for these butterflies to release themselves from the chrysalis, as this one did. This little boy hatched yesterday. He had a real struggle getting out of his chrysalis. And when he did, this is what happened. His wings are all deformed. They're curled under. This one's smaller than the other, making it impossible for them to fly. All he can basically do is flutter down to the ground. He won't be able to survive out in the wild, be eaten by a predator, or not going to be able to find shelter from the elements. So I'm going to take care of this little boy as much as I can to give him the best life that he can have without releasing him out in the wild. Why is this happening? Let me explain. There's two types of milkweed. There's tropical milkweed and there's a native milkweed. The monarch butterflies basically live their life, entire life around the milkweed plant. A butterfly lays an egg on a milkweed plant, releasing little tiny spores. These little tiny spores are then eaten when the caterpillar comes out of the egg caterpillar will eat the egg and then move on to eating the leaf of the milkweed plant. The milkweed leaf now is covered with these spores as well. These spores now build up inside the gut of the caterpillar, releasing these parasite worms. Now when they transform into the chrysalis, these parasites take up most of the room that would be there for the scales of the butterfly, creating that sticky, sticky substance which now traps the butterfly inside the chrysalis. So why is this happening? Well, we have tropical milkweed, like, like I said, and we have the native milkweed. Tropical milkweed does not die off with the four seasons like most plants do. And it stays around all year. So in Southern California, we tried to help the monarch butterflies by planting milkweed. Tropical milkweed does not die off. That, in turn, creates the leaves that now are infested with these little microspores that will be ingested and turn into these parasites. So here's a couple of things that you can do. One is if you have this tropical milkweed on your property, you can trim them down at the end of the season, let them die off, and let them regrow. That'll give you some fresh leaves and some fresh room for these little microspores that are being left on these leaves from the butterflies. Or you can just pull out those plants and find the native milkweed and have the native milkweed on your property. It's unfortunate that this little one is a victim of the infection and it's very sad to watch. But we can't change this, we can't fix this. A lot of people don't know about that and we feel like we're doing good by going out and getting the tropical milkweed. Wish this boy a little luck, cause he's gonna need it. Um, I did create this little, I keep some flowers so he's got some pollen he can have. And I rigged up this little thing that has some sugar water in here, right next to the plant, wherever I'm keeping the plant. And or I will just place him on, he will drink it. You can see they have this curled tongue that comes out and will go into the sugar water and she'll start drinking. Anyway, I wanted to share that little information for you. Um, needless, this is a beautiful little creature. Um, but unfortunately, he's not gonna be able to be released out into the wild and wouldn't survive. We have a lot of rain coming, we have cold weather, and this is just not good. They should be down south, migrate down south with the other monarch butterflies and really enjoy being with, you know, hundreds of thousands of other butterflies. I hope you guys find this useful and um, peace out.